Well, what's going on, folks? Welcome back. Thank you for tuning in to the house that never sleeps. I fear we're going to get back on this little guitar and get some more done to it. Remember the last time we worked on it, we glued the, uh, there's a crack that runs right around here. It only comes to about right there. I thought it was farther than that. It's about right there. And uh, we glued that up and sealed this heel next to it. Sealed that all up, put some glue in there too. And I'm going to put the cleats in here though. I cut out a little, a uh, few little cleats. Let me get my glasses and stuff on. I'll bring you over here and show you what we're going to do here. Hold on. Okay, let me show you what I'm talking about right here. The crack. Maybe you can see it. It's, it's right there. Right where my finger is. Comes around here to about right there. You can see it. I think, I think I'm seeing it in the camera. I'll get up too close to the camera and block the light out. But uh, we need to get cleats on that. I'm going to get you and show you all this. The problem with that is, I doubt you can see shit uh, down in there. <laughs> the guitar kerfing is run right around, that's cracked right where the kerfing is. I may have to cut some of the kerfing away, or the, I think there's a little spot right up in this area that I'll be able to... Uh, get one cleat right there but the thing the crack goes under the curving and it stays under the rest of the way down should be good glue in there against that curving hopefully we're going to find out I'll, I'll try to get you and show you this hold on by the way here's the cleats a couple of tiny little cleats they're just little little things that one's got a hair on it I roughed them up with sandpaper so they'll stick better and that's already pretty rough inside of there so I'm not going to worry about that but that's you can see how tiny those are. Mahogany. Now I want to get you and bring you over here and we're going to look right down in there at the bottom, the back of the guitar, where the side right here meets the back. That's what we're going to look at right now. Alright, if I can hold the light on it. That's the back of the guitar. There's the back of it. That's the side and the upper belt that's got the crack in it. Now you see, if you look up here, you can see part of the crack up there, if I get everything together here. <laughs> I think you can see it. And then it goes under that curving immediately. There's just one little place there beside the neck block that I'm going to be able to get it clean. But I saw a lot of glue come through here when I uh, glued the crack up it's all underneath the uh, curving all the way up through there see what I mean so I can't get a clean on that unless I cut some of the curving away and I don't think there's any need to do that because glue came out of it when I glued it up the crack we get one cleat in it anyway probably right up there where the uh, I don't know if you're seeing it let me see if I can get you a better shot of that yeah here we go. There, how's that? You should be able to, I can't see it, but you should be able to see part of that crack just above the curving. That's the part. We gotta get the, a cleat on, hold on. Okay, here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna take this smallest cleat right here and I got to turn the guitar up this way. I can't show you this because I can barely get my hand in the guitar. It's so tiny, such a tiny hole. And I'm going to stick the cleat up in. I'm going to put glue on it. Stick the cleat right up in this area, right here. Where's the crack at, man? I can't even feel that, man, at all. It's down here. Okay, down here in this area. Sorry. That's where the cleat's going to go, right beside the neck block. Actually, it'll be about that high spot in the crack, right there. Okay? Get glue on this. Stick it in there, just like I told you just now. Fight it about 30, 40 minutes. And then, I'm trying to think of ways to clamp that. And I couldn't come up with any ways to clamp it. But, I happen to think about these magnets. These are earth magnets that will hurt you very bad <laughs> if they get away from you they are extremely strong magnets man 
So what I'm going to do is get enough glue on that thing to hold it in there, okay? Then long enough, hold it in there long enough to get one of these magnets on the, the uh, this thing, the cleat. Now I'll put a couple more magnets and a couple more until I think it's, you know, squeezing together pretty tight. And that's, that'll be like clamping this little puppy in there. So I've got to go get glue now <laughs> and a couple of wet rags and we'll get into it. I'm going to get even going in, man. I'm going in. All right, check this out. I, I used double-sided sticky tape to tape that to my finger. The grain of this cleat has got to go cross, crossways from the grain in the sides. The grain in the sides running this way. Grain the cleat's going to be running that way. And I got to get glue on it and stick it back in there. So, wish me luck. Never did a guitar this way before. <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't lose it. I thought I did. All right. Well, wouldn't you know, I can't let go of the cleat, man. When I do get it in place. So I'm just going to have to hold it here until the, the glue sets up enough to where I can take my finger away. <laughs> wow. Alright, I'll bring you back when it's done. I pull my finger away and pulls the cleat away. So, we wait. <laughs> let the glue set up some. Alright, the cleat's been in there long enough now to hold itself in there and I'm going to wrap this magnet up in uh, wax paper yeah, just in case you know there's a little bit of glue on the, uh, the cleat Fucking clue why I ain't sticking to it. I was pushing it away. Plus, I need more magnets. What do I do with them? Here we go. Be very careful with these magnets, boys. <laughs> I'm telling you, when you put two of them together, they can pinch your hand. And do some great damage. have that in the right place. I can tell. I knew this was going to be fun. This hole is so very hard. To work in. Make sure the cleat didn't move. No, it's there. Okay, that was the right place. I guess it was after all. Still some wax paper in there. And here we have it. I'm going to put some more magnets on it though. Inside and out. There's only one in there right now. This is going to be fun. And put a few more on the outside here. One more. That'll be three on each side. So, see when you stick these magnets, you're holding it like that. They suck together so fast, they'll pinch you. If, you know, I hold them to the side like so I think that'll be enough I don't know let's put some more on what the hell and one more outside I'll show you what it all looks like at another time after it sets up and everything I guess I can show you now turn the guitar around 
Oh God. Had that fan on today, I was waxing some pickups. And uh let's see where is it? Yeah, that's right. Waxing pickups. And uh turn the fan on to keep the air moving in here. I forgot to turn it off. Alright, go well, get you, show it to you. Now, you're not gonna be able to see very much. Hopefully you can see the magnets there and the cleat right under the magnet. And it's got some force on it. <laughs> That's a good way to clamp stuff when you can't get a clamp, actual clamp on it. That works fine. It'll be alright. Davy Joe sent me this bottle of glue. It's Type Mon Original. I hope he didn't pay 70, $72.70 for it. Can you see that? I think that's twelve dollars and seventy cents. Wow! Thank you, Davy Joe. I appreciate it. I hope you didn't pay seventy-two bucks for it, though. All right. I didn't show you the outside of it. There's really nothing to look at except magnets over the crack. See that? Four on the outside, four on the inside. And believe me, four of these magnets are. <laughs> You couldn't get a clamp any tighter than what they get. And that worked pretty good, man. Putting that tape on my finger. Double side sticky tape. Stuck it to my finger. Stuck my uh, the cleat to it. Did a bunch of practice runs. And put the glue on it. And shoved her in there. Let it set up. And then clamped it, so to speak. You always want to run the grain of your cleat. In the opposite grain. Whatever your glue it is. Always do that. I can't see these cleats good enough to tell. I haven't looked at them that good to tell if they are like that or not. The ones that's already in there. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Cheers to you. Cheers to you. And I'll see you next time. Hey, I know somebody's going to ask me, where'd you get the magnets at? There's what they look like. And how big around they are. Honestly, I don't remember where I got them. I ordered a whole bunch of them though for jobs like this. Uh, just search for rare earth magnets, quarter size, and you should find them. Extremely strong, so be careful with them if you do. Cheers. See you next time.